welcome you all to this session in this session we will learn how to add book resource in your Moodle course page as I discussed earlier we have resource tools as well as activities tools available in Moodle using this we can organize our e-contents in a better way book resource tool is used to offer your lesson contents to students in a more systematic way we will see some examples how to use the book resource in Moodle page then we will learn how to add contents in book resource okay so this is my personal Moodle page which I am using to deliver contents to my college students here you can see a green icon and this is the symbol for book resource that green so using book resource you can offer many contents in an organized way here I, here I include all the module 1 contents of unit 1 which is diode circuits using this book resource tool if I click this one you can see that in this book I included module 1 contents which included the E contents of intrinsic semiconductase, extrinsic semiconductase and PN junction diode. There you can see other book resource of module 2 contents which included biasing of junction diodes, forward biasing, reverse biasing. So these much of E contents are included using are included in this Moodle course page using this book resource. So when I click book resource, you can see this is the first chapter module 1 content. So here you can see a video which explains the properties of intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor and right here you can see a table of contents. So in book resource you can organize the e contents like chapters of books so you, you could see here so if i click the first chapter is all about the intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductase contents if i click this pn junction diode this is chapter 2 okay so after this you can see an exit book button so this book contains only two chapters so you can see an exit book in this way the student will view the book resource so this is the right way to organize your e-contents and it is very easy for the students to select a particular content i think you are familiar with this book resource because in this workshop also we offer the contents using this book resource so hope you all feel now how easy it is to get a particular content from book resource now we will learn how to add contents in book resource tool or how to add contents in your course page using book resource tool so the idea is in the book resource we have many chapters so add the contents chapter wise so let us look how to add contents in book chapter so for that you need to go to your Moodle course page first enter the details username admin and give your password get your course from either from my courses or from the site home. so I am getting my course from my courses tab so what next I am going to edit my course page so first I need to click this 10 editing on so this is the first step yesterday we learned how to include discussion forum hope you have all added a discussion forum in your personal Moodle course page so for getting a book resource you have to click this add an activity or resource I am adding the book resource 
in the same topic block so click add an activity or resource book resource or book tool is a resource tool because using this we are offering lessons to our students so under resource category you can see this book resource this green icon so click that book icon then click add first you have to provide a name so in the previous case you can see the book name is unit 1 i think unit 1 this one module 1 contents like this you have to give a name it will appear like this so here i am so i am giving day 1 contents day 1 contents you want to give some description you can give so next save and display so first chapter you have to add the first chapter here so i am adding the first chapter as diode now you can give the contents so it, it is an html editor you, you know how to add contents in this html editor you can add links you can type you can add figure you can add video you can add file okay using this button you can add file so using this you can add contents in this chapter one so the chapter title is diode so i am writing something pn junction diode that's it then save changes okay so first you have to give a chapter title and then you can give a content so here you can upload a video by using this icon right if you have a video content you can add that video content here by using this icon you know how to add click video paste the url then insert media okay then save changes so you added the contents in chapter 1 so you can see a table of contents right now the first chapter is diode if you want to edit this one don't click this setup button if you click this setup button it will permit the edit option of moodle book which means that day one content book i will show you if if you edit this one edit settings okay this is the general edit settings of that book resource if you want to edit the contents in chapter 1 you have to click this icon you have to click this setup icon near this chapter from which is comes under table of contents so click here now you can edit the chapter 1 ok then click save changes if you want to add another chapter you please click this plus button please click plus button so it will show you the window window to add new chapter title so transfer stays if you want to add this chapter as a sub chapter of this diode you have to click this sub chapter box you can see this one if you click this one this transistor will this chapter transistor will add as a sub chapter under the chapter diode if you want to create this chapter as a new chapter untick that one and click the con and you can add the content then save changes then you can see the second chapter appeared there okay in this manner you can organize your contents so in this way it offers to organize your e-contents in a better way suppose if you add the same contents in google classroom or microsoft team or in some other lms platforms you know it will be crowded it will be stored there in an in, in not an organized way 
but here you can store all these contents in an organized way so this is the peculiar feature of this book resource tool available in Moodle so if you so you can see some i button near each chapter if you click this i button it will hide the chapter one from students so if you are editing works is not over you can click this i button then it you can see the contents but the your students can't see this content because it is it will be hide from your students so in this way you can complete your editing work then you can click this i button now it is visible to all students so in this way you can arrange your e contents using book resource tool so if you want to see this one in your Moodle course page click the Moodle trial which is my course you can see there so here you can see book resource day one contents so if you click this if you click that day one contents you will get chapter wise contents first chapter second chapter etc so in this way you can add book resource in your Moodle course page. The book resource is used if you have large number of contents to be delivered. If we upload the same contents in Google Classroom or in Microsoft Team, it will look like this. So this is my Google Classroom page. Even though this is a simple LMS, you can see when I upload the contents, it looks like a little bit crowded, not in an organized way. The posts are coming one after other. So it is very difficult for the students to pick a particular content from this course page. But here in my Moodle course page, it is uploaded in an organized way. So this is how Moodle differs from Google Classroom. The similar thing is there in Microsoft Team also. So in other LMS platform, we can't organize the content in a good systematic way but Moodle offers so. So I hope you understand how to add your book resource in your Moodle course page and how to add contents in Moodle book resource. Thank you.